Alex, what, what a weekend. I mean, you've had a few days to reflect on it now, sleep on it a little bit. How, um, how good was it? How good was that for you lot? Um, it was a fantastic weekend, wasn't it? Uh, personally, um, fantastic to get the win. Uh, that's what we went there to do. Um, obviously, the whole week, people thought we were underdogs and, and kind of wrote us off. But um, we showed if we put a performance in, we can get results. So um, as a team, we're very happy. Um, but we know there's more to come from us as well, which is exciting as well. well one or two of you have spoken about the kind of motivation of some of the criticism that's come your way in, in recent weeks. Just just give us a flavour of, of how that fueled that performance. Yeah, I mean, for me, I don't really try and look at it, obviously, because you hear so much noise from the outside. Um, but I guess you do end up seeing bits. Um, and then, yeah, just throughout the week, it's just probably less of a motiva motivation for me. But for some lads, it's probably massive um, to try and do one over on them. Uh, obviously, all the talk in the week. So, yeah, obviously adds fuel to the fire and, and gets you going within the week because you've got an extra thing to, to get after and, and beat them for. So, yeah, little things like that um, do count. And obviously, it, it kind of helped us, I guess. I guess for the, for the neutral and for people on the outside, in a way, a performance like that, the display that you pulled out is a real kind of celebration of what emotion can do in sport because you were so fired but you were so clinical weren't you just just if you wouldn't mind talk a little bit about how you can get to that emotional pitch and pull out something so special yeah i think it's the the balance of being emotional but being um relaxed with it and controlled because if you're too emotional you just you're not going to do the right things on the field um and i think we found a really good balance with that i think we've been good uh for the, for the whole six nations just sometimes we've not performed we know as a group that if we put our principles and our game plan on the pitch we can we can beat anyone um we just we've just struggled at times with that and um we showed on saturday that when we actually do that and and play well and perform and stick to our systems that that we can attack well, defend well, uh, and play in the right areas and, and get results against what, one of the best sides in the world. So, yeah, we're really happy with that. And how would you describe the kind of bounce that you felt off the back of it, the confidence, the belief that surely must be flooding through this team now? Yeah, it's massive. Um, yeah, it's just a bit more of a buzz around camp. Obviously, it helps winning a few less tired bodies and, and everyone's got a bit of a, a leap in their step to, to come to training. And, and yeah, it's been fantastic. Yesterday and today's been, training's been really good. Um, we, we're not too ahead of ourselves though, we know there's still a lot to work on. Um, we know we made a lot of mistakes in the game, um, there's still a lot of opportunities that we can take and, and go from there. So yeah, loads of little things to, to get after as well, so it's, seeing both sides to it is, is really nice. And I think obviously from a fan perspective, the, the big thing, and I'm sure for you too, was, was the way the attack clicked. I mean it was a total transformation, Alex, wasn't it? What, what do you put that down to? Um, I think obviously in the week we worked on it a lot. Um, we know our attack against Scotland wasn't great. So in the week we had a lot more focus on our attack um, and little things in, in training that we tweaked. Um, we knew Ireland were going to come out the blocks in that first 20, so look after them in that part and then and then our attack comes alive. So yeah, we knew we weren't too far off in the previous weeks um, from training, but like I said, just a little, few little tweaks um, that helped us and, and we yeah had a better performance. Is there a real kind of added sense of satisfaction because those of us who watch you guys week in, week out in the Premiership know how good you can be? We know what the ceiling should be for you in a white shirt collectively. Um, but to put it all together finally on the international stage must be, must be thrilling because you've been threatening it without really delivering it to this point. Exactly, yeah. I think, yeah, we know we can do it for our clubs, but we've not always shown it on the international stage, have we? Um, and as one of them on, on Saturday, we showed bits of it. Um, I thought at parts we, we were outstanding, but like I said, at parts we, we left some opportunities and tries out there still. So it's outstanding to, uh, to see um, and to see that the opportunities we missed, there's still more in us. And that's, that's really exciting to see. And I know we can go one step further and, and push for the top four sides and, and then be one of the best sides in the world. Of course, this is a collective and you know you have your framework set by the coaching structure and the management, etc. But was there a big drive from the players to just start delivering what you knew was within you from the attack side of things? I mean, the running onto the ball is a really basic example of the way that you threw everything at the Irish. Was that, was that quite player-led? It's like, come on, we, we're better than we've shown. 
Uh, maybe slightly. I think it's probably a mixture of both. Um, I mean, the coaches always give us license to to play what you see, play to space, um, and the players as well had a bit more of a, a mentality to get after it, uh, dig into the line, um, kind of show people what we can do. Um, so I think, yeah, both senses that the coaches were fantastic in that week and, and gave us a bit more license. And, and as players, we, we got after it in the week. And if we trained it, it normally comes out to fruition on the Saturday. So, uh, yeah, that's one thing we did probably get after. Well, a really good illustration of it was was just that first counter-attack from, from George Furbank, which I'm sure as you were turning to look at him, you were thinking, yes, this is this is what it's all about. That's what we're here for. Yeah, it's great to see, wasn't it? I mean, I've, I see him do it for Saints the whole, uh, the whole time. And, He's being decisive. Um, he's doing what he does does best at the club, and he's doing it on the international stage. So, to see a player like that uh, with confidence, getting after it, gives you confidence to then put your game on the field. So, I think stuff like that gives the the whole side um, the ability to get after it and do their best parts as well. So, yeah, little things like that gives you the uh, the confidence to push on. How's he been given the impact that he's had over the last couple of games? Obviously, two and two in terms of tries, and he just made a huge impact, hasn't he, in this kind of second incarnation of his England career? Yeah, he's been fantastic. Um, the little things you don't see within camp, he's, he's a great lad around camp. Obviously, I've got to say that I'm good mates with him, but he's uh, no, a good lad, good leader. Um, the little things that he, he, he tweaks and, and helps with our attack is massive, um, and, he's, and he's slowly getting there with his, with his performances as well. So um, I thought he was outstanding on the weekend. Um, and he's got a lot more in him, which is which is exciting. There's a lot of talk around the Saints boys, obviously, because you're flying in the league. How big an impact has that made on, on England, do you feel? The fact that you've been picked at a time when Northampton are flying top of the table, making such a such a big stride. Yeah, I think it's obviously it helps because obviously people have a lot more confidence in you. Obviously, if it's working at your clubs, um, it's it could work at the international level. So yeah, I think as a as a squad, um, it's nice that we've got a lot of Saints boys in, and, and we've got the confidence to to try and implement a few of the things that that we do as well. Um, but as I see, as I say, it's a it's a squad uh, effort, and the, all the ideas from different clubs really help us push on. Um, and the uh, the coaches, like I said, give us license to to bring our best bits from our clubs to the international level, um, which has been fantastic. Just want to ask you on that note a couple of about a couple of players not from Northampton. The dynamism and the sheer brilliance of Ben Earl on the weekend. Um, a word on him at the moment because he's turbo charged, isn't he? I mean, he's been class as well. Um, he's been a bit too good at times. He's, uh, he's everywhere, um, very aggressive, very elusive runner, always beats the first man. So to have a player like that in your, in your side is just outstanding. Give him the ball and he'll do something for you, get you on the front foot, especially as a nine. That's what you want, front foot carries, and that's what he gives you. Um, he's a great leader as well. Uh, he's been really good defensively, and he's deserved his his man of the matches. So, um, yeah, a player a player like that in your team is is a massive asset. Uh, and a word on Danny Kerr, the, the what is he, the godfather of this group at this point, or the grandfather maybe? <laughs> yeah, knows? yeah, he really is. I mean, yeah, like I said, he's just he's a bit of a legend, isn't he? I, I mean, I watched him growing up, um, and then actually meeting him, he's such a great bloke as well. Uh, I've learned so much from him. Um, the little things that, that he knows in the game that he tells me about is, is fantastic. It's really improved my game. Um, and like I said, yeah, to have him on the, the squad is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's great to see. Um, you've got a big challenge this weekend, clearly. The championship is on the line, which I think if you wheel back a few weeks, probably not too many were suggesting England were going to be in the mixer on the final weekend. You might have believed it, but I'm not sure an awful lot of England fans thought so. Um, what is, the, what is the big goal here? To try to produce something of a similar nature in quality against the French in Lyon? Because if that's just a glorious one-off, that's not going to satisfy anybody, is it? No, exactly. I mean, we're not getting too ahead of ourselves. I mean, for the Scotland week, we kind of ignored the, the noise on the outside and now, we're, now we've won. Um, the noise is very positive, but you've got to ignore that as well. You've got to focus on what you're doing. Um, obviously, we know within our circles uh, what's, what's going well, what we need to improve. Um, and again, just focus on ourselves. Um, we, again, we want another performance. We know, we know good teams back it up. We don't just want one good performance and a poor performance. Um, and we want a result on the back of that as well. So, yeah, like I said, focus on us. We know th uh, the French have massive threats. They're a fantastic side, uh, one of the top four. So um, we want to chase them down and, and try and get another performance out of us. I appreciate what they did to, to the Welsh, particularly in the second half. And we all know the quality they have. But is there a feeling that actually they're there for the taking, French? 
Uh, I think so. Yeah, we can't we can't take them too lightly. Um, we know their pack uh, is, is huge and and a quality pack, and their backs are very elusive and got some outstanding players. So you can't take them for granted uh, in that sense. Um, you know they're going to come come out the block, especially playing in France in Lyon. Uh, it's going to be a great experience playing out there. The atmosphere is always amazing in France. We know it's going to be a huge test match, but if we perform, we can get a result. And you'd be robbed of the opportunity to go head to head with Antoine Dupont. I know, I know, he's a fantastic player, isn't he? Um, yeah, obviously you want to play against the best, but um, it's a shame he's away. But um, the Garak, um, if that's how you say it, is uh, he's been fantastic last week as well, wasn't he? I think he was man of the match. So, yeah, you're always playing against the best in this competition, which is is what you want.